on uh, January 18th, uh, 2020, at around 6.45, the uh, IOM managed humanitarian hub in Ngala, Borno State, was attacked by non-state armed group. Uh, large sections of that hub was uh, affected and effectively destroyed, and uh, uh, at least one vehicle was burned down, and two other vehicles were damaged. Uh, the effect of this, and the intended effect of this, uh, uh, is to intimidate the humanitarian actors working in Northeast Nigeria. We have seen this as a pattern where uh, humanitarian workers are increasingly targeted. Just in 2019, 12 uh, humanitarian workers were killed and uh, two of them are still in captivity. We uh, urge all parties to the conflict to respect all international instruments, including international humanitarian law, and uh, to ensure that the safety and security of uh, civilians and uh, those who are risking their lives to provide comfort and uh, uh, relief uh, to those displaced by the conflict, to respect their security and to respect their safety. Prior to the hubs, um, humanitarian workers could only go uh, on day trips. So they go one day at a time to deliver services. These hubs are the ultimate enablers to allow the humanitarian workers to improve the quality of the response, to allow the humanitarian workers to have enough time on the ground to do what they are supposed to do, to make sure that lives are saved and, and, and that the, uh, the, our fellow human beings have some level of comfort um, and they can, you know, leave, uh, even though they are living in congested camps, so at least the basic services are provided to them. That is important. And this is what uh, uh, I'm asking all those involved uh, and all the, those parties to the conflict to respect international humanitarian law and all of the international instruments pertaining to how we operate in a conflict environment.